what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. This week we got something a little bit different. Um, we're going to experiment with this new series. Uh, I'm a huge autograph collector, so I, I, was, I haven't featured autographs on this um, channel in probably about a year. So um, I did a, a little bit more towards the beginning of the channel back in 2017. So we're going to do about a half dozen different episodes just to see how they do view-wise to see if we're going to continue doing it or not. Uh, today's video is pickups from eBay, and uh, most of the stuff primarily is Brooks Robinson, ba Baltimore Orioles great. That's why I'm wearing the Orioles stuff for today. Um, he's uh, been in the Hall of Fame since 1983. Uh, I have sent stuff to him through the mail and got autographed, but he has since um, quit signing. So I was wanting to pick up some pieces of his Um because he is getting older and you know when the players die the autograph value goes up and stuff so since he quit signing i wanted to acquire as much as i could while i was able to so without further ado let's get into this all right most of these are from individuals on ebay on this particular one we're going to switch uh, the camera view so you can see the close-up of it i'll still hold it up you know like this but um, we're going to switch, switch to uh, uh, up close camera view. All right, first one up is a reprint of his rookie card which is autographed. So sign in blue Sharpie, very nice. Once again, this is a reprint. It's not, not an original. Um, it is a reprint by Tops. It's not a, like a counterfeit reprint. There's a lot of those that float around on eBay, so you gotta be careful for, about that. But uh, it is signed in blue Sharpie by Brooks Robinson. Very nice. All right, the next item This is from an eBay seller called Bud Sports Cards. Did a really good package job to make sure it didn't get damaged. I originally had bought this card with intentions of mailing it to Brooks Robinson to get it signed, but the, and um, shortly after I had got the one I purchased that I ordered off off of eBay as well, I found out he had quit signing, so I picked up a 1975 tops. Brooks Robinson. Uh, I wanted it because 1975 is the year that I'm born in. So once again, sign on blue Sharpie. Very nice. It's in very good shape. When I look for cards, I try to um, get them as centered as possible um, when I'm able to. It doesn't always work that way on some of the older stuff. But So I got that from Bud Sports Cards on eBay. Go check them out. All right, next one. This is from an individual. tape on here. All 
All right, these once again are Brooks Robinson as well. I got the 1969 base card and I also got the 1969 All-Star card, both signed in blue Sharpie. The All-Star card has the Hall of Fame description, the HOF 83 on it. So, very nice. Take it off the back of that one. So I've always been a fan of 1969 tops. All right. This one I actually bought from the same individual, but at a different time. This particular guy had quite a bit of Brooks Robinson stuff, so. He's got a few more items on there that I'd like to add before they get sold. three things one of them is a index card signed by Brooks Robinson and blue sharpie then the other ones from Atlanta Falcon great Jeff Van note signed in black ink pen very nice then I got a former New York Met player and coach he was on the 1986 world series team uh, bud harrelson tops card sign on blue sharpie so i added that to the collection this is from an individual on ebay Packing job on this one. All right, another Brooks Robinson card. Uh, I'll just leave it there. 1968 tops. Very nice. Sign in blue Sharpie with a Hall of Fame 83 inscription on it. I also like 68, but I like 69. Design this a little bit better. So happy to add that to the collection. All right, I think everything else is bigger, so we won't be doing the close-up shots um, as much probably. I don't know. I'll probably shoot both and see, see how it does on editing. This is from uh, Real McCoy Collectibles on eBay. This was like a hell of a steal. All right. Always been a fan of Ken, Ken of actually both Ken Griffey's, the Ken Griffey Jr. and his father, Sr. Um, his father used to play for the Atlanta Braves, so it's both Ken Sr. and Ken Jr., but it's signed by Ken Griffey Sr. in silver. Got this for a steal. Got it for 10 bucks shipped. Very nice. Got the authenticity card with it, so couldn't pass that up. I believe there was still one more left on there, so if you're watching this, might be able to go snatch it up.
This is from an individual on eBay. All right, if you are a normal follower of the channel, you may know I'm friends with several former and current Major League ball players. Uh, one of them being Evan Gaddis, formerly of the Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros. So I picked up this cool 8x10 of him, autographed in silver sharpie. His bat actually breaks as he swings, so you see him holding the handle there and the bat barrel flying off, and then the ball. So I just thought it was a cool pick. Got that for, I think, around 15 bucks. So very nice. And this also is of my buddy Evan Gaddis once again. I got a Houston Astros. This is what they call the replica, the cool base jersey. It's um, not done to the same standards as the authentic, but replica and MLB jerseys does not mean fake. It just means it's, um, it's made a little bit different than the on-fields. So I got the orange version. Got it in size XL, but I did not get it to wear because it is autographed on the back of the 11 right here on the 11 on the right side done in silver sharpie so very nice and jersey number 11 on the autograph so happy to add that i actually have a game used jersey of his of this orange one wish it was signed and i would wear this one if it wasn't signed but i got it the other way around all right last but not least got these for a really good steal couldn't pass it up. This is from a company called Premier Collectors. And that's the first time I've ever bought, um, and actually it's my second time that I bought an autographed book. I got it because it might be my only chance to ever get this guy's autograph. So I got Scotty Pippen of the Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan's right hand man, even though they're not seeing eye to eye right now. And it actually comes with a certificate of authenticity. And it's signed by him on the inside, signed in green. So, kind of an odd color that they picked, but that's my very first Scotty Pippen autograph. So I just wanted to get that, because I may never have a chance to, to get his autograph. I wonder if the other one's signed in green too. Got this for a steal though, got them for 16 bucks each. It was like below what the price was if you were to buy it. Um, without it, without it being autographed, so couldn't pass it up. Let's see what color this other one's signed in. Ah, oh, dope! This one's signed red. Uh, certificate of authenticity for that one. So that one's signed in red instead of the green like the first one. So if I was to get rid of one, I'd probably get rid of the one signed in green, but I'm probably going to give it to a buddy. So got two copies of those for 32 bucks combined. So I can't beat it. Two Scotty Pippen autographs. So that's all my pickups for today. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Comment down below which one of the pickups you like the most. Let me know if you like like this type of video. If you want to continue seeing me uh, make these, please let me know. Your feedback's very important. So please give two big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends Unlimited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, sign out.
Peace. I'm in the trap on the block on my vest and my clock I'm that thug for my land still ballin' like Pac If my seed be my name, they just trim my claim to fame Mafioso be the clip, let's go to bring the pain